welcome. I am Rob Gilliard. I am the worship leader at Coastline, and I play the piano. And I am sitting here with Rodrigo Rodriguez, and he is a classical guitarist. Um, we had the privilege of having him uh, not just perform at our church, but also just kind of hang out with the band and, and get to know him. Um, so thank you for being here, Rod. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Rob. It's, it's always a blessing to be here in awesome. Calvary Chapel, Gold Breeze. It's a beautiful place place uh, yeah. you know yeah. to enjoy God's creation God has really blessed yeah. uh, coastline absolutely it. yes uh, just a beautiful campus and and a beautiful family like it um, is just uh, I've, I've never been of a church part of a church like this you know yeah. where, where we really consider yeah. ourselves family and, great people here and the I'm worship so team is so close and um, thank you by the way for just kind of speaking into them um, oh absolutely uh, absolutely it's difficult you know being a worship leader and and being on a worship team and uh, feeling like you have to have this certain level of excellence every time you perform mm -hmm. but then reminding them that it's not performance it's mm -hmm. worship you know absolutely and, and it, you know it's very easy to go from uh, uh from uh, the the step between performance and worship is mm -hmm. is very narrow yes so it's, uh, exactly. we need to be careful right. we really have to be careful in the, the step to don't don't cross the, the exactly. performance uh, step because uh, then it's about us you know it's, it's not about him yeah and I'm it's so easy to teach spiritual lessons through performing <laughs> through through uh, the week to week um, right like lessons of grace you know when you make a mistake you just keep going and, and mm -hmm. you you don't have to worry about it you don't have to concentrate on it because the more you concentrate yeah. on it it seems like your your performance just goes downhill because you're not thinking about God. You're thinking about Correct. your mistake. So teaching grace through those moments and now having a team go from from being uh, dejected whenever they make a mistake to be right. able to smile and yeah. to be able to continue to worship. You is know a why? Cool because thing God loves you with your mistakes. Exactly. Exactly. He is more interested in you, in your heart to worship more yes. than your perfect uh, technique. Yes. Yeah. Well said, you know. and from someone who has perfect technique. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Psalm fifty one talk about uh, skillfulness, mm -hmm. and part of our responsibility is to polish that, right. the, the the gift of music, mm -hmm. uh, polish it, and practice, do our human mm -hmm. uh, work, our human effort, right, and then we display the the, the best for the Lord because He deserves the best mm -hmm. from us, exactly. and pa you know, being a good steward is to practice and. And, and be ready, you know. Right, and if that's how it is with my team is I know my team mm -hmm. and I know how hard they work. I know yeah. that they practice at home before rehearsal. Right. And then we have rehearsal in the middle of the week and then they, they practice again at home getting ready for Sunday. Mm -hmm. So whenever they make a mistake, I know it's not because they're not working hard at mm -hmm. it. It's just mm -hmm. one of those humanity, you know, it's just Absolutely. one of those things. And that will get a lot of mistakes in our lives mm -hmm. for us to understand our, our limitations we are just human people exactly and he is perfect yeah and you know one of the things that the guy that really changed my heart uh, is uh in that way i used to be very critical with myself right and and concerts trying to do a perfect playing most of the time mm -hmm. and uh being so hard in, in, in me mm -hmm. because uh i had this uh, idea that according to my performance people is going to uh, give me a good review or right. bad review, and that is going to depend my career. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, it's uh, so amazing when I when I came to serve the Lord with the music. Uh, you know, one of the amazing things that happened is that uh, I understood finally that it's not about me; it's to mm -hmm. it's to display the gift to others to worship the Lord. It's part of the teamwork. It's not about me. Right. You know, in the case of my guitar, inside of the case, uh, I put a little cross. When I open the case, is to remember this. Is not I am not my own. Yeah. That somebody else has uh, deserved the glory and and the honor. Mm -hmm. I'm just an instrument, yeah. and That's and that really changed my playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it comes out of joy now. Because it's more freedom. Yeah, you know, it's more freedom. Is not a is you don't have to be uh, nervous. Uh, actually, I I get nervous most of the mm -hmm. time, and it's a good sign to be yeah. nervous. Yeah. Because uh, you come and say, Lord, please help me because I can't, I cannot do it without you, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have this little ad adrenaline coming right. from, yeah. from your body because then 
then you ask the Lord to take control over your playing, over your speaking, mm-hmm. and it's important. Yes, that's beautiful. Well said, <laughs> well said. Now, I, w- I was hoping that you would kind of just <coughs> share the story of how you fell in love with music the first time as a boy, um, because I think musicians and artists of any kind would really understand that that yeah. story yeah so if you can't tell about that first time you heard your uncle play of course you know in fact um somebody produced a short documentary for, uh, mm-hmm. uh, for me they call a uh, musicianary the rodrigo rodriguez story you uh, people can watch it on youtube mm-hmm. musicianary the rodrigo rodriguez story and uh, I share everything there, mm-hmm. how is the struggles of a secular musician mm-hmm. uh, in different different uh, ways, you know, mm-hmm. especially emotionally, you yeah. know. Um, my, the beginning of my, uh, of my uh, story is uh, my uncle uh, was a professional guitar player and uh, he came to uh, play in my, in my, in my uh, my home, mm-hmm. and I remember that day was amazing because uh, listening the sound of the guitar, and uh, you know, guitar is a very uh, popular in in mm-hmm. South America, Latino countries. Mm-hmm. Is uh, guitar is so important? So I was absolutely, uh, you know, I was uh, so involved in the moment when my uncle was playing. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Uh, I, I I told in my little mind of mm-hmm. uh, nine years old, I said, I'm going to be a guitar player, mm-hmm. no matter what. Uh, that's what I would love. To. I love the sound, the guitar. I love the idea of playing guitar. So the next day, trying to play my dad's guitar, he really was very mad with me. Uh, he, he told me, forget about it. You know, musicians mm-hmm. are flaky. Yeah. Musicians are broke. You need to be a lawyer. You need to go to school. Mm-hmm. Someday you're gonna get get married. How are you gonna support your family? And not too many people mix it in, in music. Mm-hmm. But uh, I made my own. Uh, uh, I I set my little mind in something I w- really want to do it. So when nobody was around, I I opened the class and I start to play my dad's guitar, hours and hours. Uh-huh. You know, I remember the chords yeah. and playing. And the rest is history. Yeah. The rest I. Uh, you know, I used to have uh, some LP from uh, a classical guitar player, Andres Segovia from Spain, put the LP and tried to pick up the notes by ear. And uh, uh, then uh, I start my own stuff, my mm-hmm. own technique. Mm-hmm. Then I went to school, of course, to yeah. learn t- uh, how to play properly mm-hmm. technique because technique in guitar is so important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, for many years I was, uh, you know, traveling the world. When I was 16 years old, I left my home in Ecuador. Wow. I went to Venezuela mm-hmm. uh, to study classical guitar. And then I went to Spain, mm-hmm. to France, and it was in England. And I went to the Middle East, Damascus, Syria. Oh, and, uh, uh, you know, playing all, all mm-hmm. over the world. And uh, But, you know, I have to say this, Rob. Always I had this empty feeling in my heart you know mm-hmm. it's a sense of not an accomplishment mm-hmm. that something was missing and uh, and uh, i didn't know what what was the problem you know uh, yeah. i was thinking if i play for more people if i record one more mm-hmm. cd if i receive uh, more if i get more people to pet my shoulder and say hey well done then i'm going to be feeling better okay. it's a uh, it's a uh, it's you know everything is because our identity mm-hmm. you know we put our identity in the people in mm-hmm. our career we put our our identity in in the world yeah. we depend upon them mm-hmm. you know we said if this guy think i am good i gonna feel good right. if he think i am bad i gonna feel bad so i'm nobody it's his identity yeah. and especially my, i guess if your father said that you couldn't do it uh, you're uh, always uh, trying to prove that uh, even yeah. after uh, you have proved it you know. And my identity was in the music. My guitar used to be my my driver license, mm-hmm. my uh, uh, my checking account, uh, my passport. Everything was the guitar. Mm-hmm. I th- I really thought that if I don't play guitar, people is not going to care about me. That I ha- I have nothing more valuable mm-hmm. in my life more than music, more than guitar. Mm-hmm. And because I thought that, I was investing 
all my life, hours and years, uh, uh, practicing, polishing, mm -hmm. uh, pursuing a career because mm -hmm. I was thinking that is my life depend on that, you know. It kind of became your God, yeah. Well, actually, it was my God, yeah. you know. M music, guitar was my God. Mm -hmm. uh, my, only, uh, my only goal in life uh, to be rich and famous, mm -hmm. more famous than rich. Yeah, because it's the the identity is the uh, I uh, my dad. You know, sometimes I think that why I shouldn't listen my my father. You know, mm -hmm. I, yeah, because he asked me to drop the music. Uh, music is a difficult business mm -hmm. because uh, uh, musicians. When I was a musician in the world, I used to feel entitled. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. I'm better than you. Right. Why? Because I have more talent than you. Yeah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking no, about the I, people. You know? No, that's what I I've seen from you. Whenever you yeah. come into my worship team and yeah. whenever you, you talk to us, you, there's this humility. There's this. Um, because the Lord changes that, mm -hmm. but, you know, but in the world, it's different. Mm -hmm. In the world, if, if somebody is better than you, you treat him better. Right. And uh, like a little star, like mm -hmm. a little you know, uh, a special star. And, and, and in our hearts, create a sense of... Uh, uh, pride because mm -hmm. I'm better than you and, and I'm supposed to, to play games with you. Mm -hmm. And it's a very dangerous thing, yeah. especially when, when, when I started my career when I was a little boy. Yeah. I, I record an LP when I was 13 years old. Wow. So I remember in the school, mm -hmm. my teachers, mm -hmm. you know, hey, you are so great, man. Can you play for my mom's birthday? Sure. Mm -hmm. What are you going to have in exchange? Oh, I give you a good notes. Yeah. Things like that, you yeah. know. So mm -hmm. you, you want to cut do short shortcuts in your life you know mm -hmm. and that is really bad because you people need to uh, fight fight for what they want mm -hmm. and sometimes you go in circle because you think you are better than some right. people yeah. it's a very dangerous thing mm -hmm. uh, and and i have to say that when god came in my life 30 years ago uh, still i was dealing with a thing because uh, these problems, these pride problems get really in the core of your heart. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. very difficult to get rid of it in one minute. Mm -hmm. And I hear this incredible statement of some people saying that when you accept Jesus, everything changes in your life. And it's true. You get mm -hmm. saved and mm -hmm. you're going to go to heaven through, through the blood of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in my case... It was a long way to, to change my, the setting that I right. used to have. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you from my heart, still I suffer from childhood uh, emotional problems of my, uh, starting my career when I was a little boy. Mm -hmm. And that's why I need Jesus every day. Yeah. You see, I don't ask Jesus, Jesus, give me your grace from for now to the next three months. Yeah. It's, a, it's a daily walking. It's a baby step. It's just walking. And I am victorious because God is a God of victory. Mm -hmm. Because I, uh, because when I came and when I, I want to give the best to to my Lord, not from, just from the music, mm -hmm. I want to encourage another people to serve the Lord. Is the more amazing, honoring life, mm -hmm. and more than more than quality music, the Lord requires is humbleness, mm -hmm. is the the, wor the 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 feeling of worship, is to understand that we are not playing a concert or a performance, mm -hmm. that we are. Just worshiping the King of Kings. If we, you, Rob, if we can, when we worship in a church, when I'm playing, you know, if we have the possibility to see God mm -hmm. and His amazing majest, majesty is surrounded by thousands of angels mm -hmm. with, a, with a crystal sea around Him, we will be in awe. Mm -hmm. So I not even could be even play the guitar. Yeah. You know? So that's what I'm trying to imagine when when I'm playing the guitar. I close on time my eyes and I can see myself playing to the King of Kings, you know. Mm -hmm. When I close my eyes not to show that show up the people that can play the, the guitar with right. my eyes closed. Is is a is a is a is a way of submission. Mm -hmm. Is a way to uh, for me to say thank you Lord mm -hmm. for using my life. Yeah. I don't deserve it to even put uh, your your name in my lips. Mm -hmm. 
But this amazing honor is because Jesus died on the cross for me, and he made it possible, my relationship with, with God. Yeah, and in Corinthians, it talks about how <clears throat> when we gaze on him, he's transforming us to be more and more like him. Absolutely. So that goes back to what you were saying about your life being slowly changed mm -hmm. um, and your career being changed, yeah. um, but also to the fact that whenever you're playing, you're helping us gaze on God and, through your music so we can focus our minds and our thoughts on Him so while you're playing God's changing us to be more like Him as well. Praise God and that's my that is my um, my ultimate goal mm -hmm. to lead people to worship. Instrumental worship is, uh, is different mm -hmm. you know it's kind of cool because sometimes you can be singing the words in your in your mind mm -hmm. and uh, without uh, without singing yeah, I was talking to a man out in the lobby after you played, and he said, you know, every single song that he played, I was hearing the lyrics in my mind. Yeah. Well, that's the amazing thing of God, create different styles, mm -hmm. you know, for, mm -hmm. his, uh, for his glory. Yeah. So, Rob, I love to play yeah. for the Lord. It's, it's an amazing thing to be a uh, full-time ministry and mm -hmm. traveling different countries and uh, using my gift. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, very important uh, part in the in the short film that somebody did it for me is that I encourage to the people mm -hmm. to use their own gifts in God's kingdom, yeah. because uh, it's diff God is a wonderful Father that He gave different gifts. Mm -hmm. We have the gift of music, mm -hmm. you know, but some of other people have different gifts, right. and and I think the the key of our relationship with the Lord is to to use their gifts in His kingdom, yes. and and. Uh, you know, I used to be a Christian since Sunday, Sunday Christian, go mm -hmm. to see God for an hour, bye-bye God, uh, the mm -hmm. rest is my own stuff. Yeah. But then come a point uh, that, that, you know, I was thinking I, I really need to be more, more, um, in more relation with the Lord, you know, and, and know Him more. And when you know more the Lord, you start to love Him. Mm -hmm. And when you love Him, you want to speak to somebody. When you love somebody, you 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 want to talk about this person all right. the time. Yeah. You want to you want to share. It. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you love the Lord, then and then He put the desires in your heart to use the gift, uh, whatever mm -hmm. uh, gifts are to use it in His kingdom. Yes. Well, I did find on your website this oh, picture. Yeah. And oh, this, this is picture is so beautiful. Your wow. Uncle and Amazing. Your dad. So yeah. I, I am assuming that there is a story of redemption in your relationship with your father and yes. he accepted. <laughs> yes. Wow, this is a beautiful picture. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, my uncle is the guy who is in in the center. Guillermo? Guillermo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You you have a good information. I cyber stalked you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He uh, he died uh, four months ago. Oh wow. Ninety eight years old. Oh my goodness. And he was still playing his guitar. Wow. Yeah. And and my dad is uh, in in the other side. Uh, I love my dad so much. You know. Uh, I have to tell you with sadness that I didn't have a good relationship with my dad. Mm -hmm. You know. I. Uh, I don't know how to explain this. I love my dad, and I know he. Lo uh, I I know he loves me, but he never told me, "Son, I'm proud of you." He never. And for many years, I was trying to impress him, mm -hmm. because I wanted desperately to hear from my dad, "Son, I love you, mm -hmm. and I am proud of what you do." Yeah. He never did it. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I knew he he loved me. Right. I know uh, I know that he liked the music that I he did. He just couldn't but say it in front of you. I yeah. just mm -hmm. don't understand that, you know. Yeah. Probably because his father never told him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And be probably because uh, uh, his father was uh, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, close in his emotions. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But uh, talking about my dad, you know, uh, for many years I was. Uh, praying for my dad because mm -hmm. my dad used to say that he's a good man that he doesn't need to go to church mm -hmm. he used to say said, he used to say son I'm in peace with God I am a good man I don't go to clubs I don't get drunk mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all you have to do is be a good person mm -hmm. you know and that's it and and when I when I many times when I spoke to him about Jesus he he was very defensive mm -hmm. Uh, so I told my wife instead because that was causing even my relationship right. more, more, yeah. more fall apart, and uh, 
in some way I was kind of enforcing him because I know the truth of the Lord, you know. Mm-hmm. I know that Jesus, that Jesus is alive and, and Jesus can change people. Mm-hmm. And the more important that I, we can go to heaven just through him. Mm-hmm. The, uh, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Mm-hmm. Nobody come to the Father except by me. And, and that is the truth of the matter. Mm-hmm. And I was communicating that to my father and he was rejecting the idea. Mm-hmm. And, and I told my wife, we need to pray for my dad. And we pray, say, Lord, use whatever you have to use mm-hmm. in order to it's bring the Holy my Father. Spirit that draws people. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, the Lord used uh, whatever he has to use. He got a deadly kidney cancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, three months, three days before he died, he received the Lord. Mm-hmm. And he got baptized mm-hmm. in, the, in the living room of his home. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you, you know, I think... Uh, I think that people, when it's desperately and uh, and jeopardize, uh, uh, when they think they're gonna die, or when they are very poor, they they open their heart and their mind yeah. for uh, for a relationship with the Lord, they, for the idea that, God, yeah. that Jesus is real. I was talking to a guy not too long ago, and he was rejecting the idea of Jesus. But as soon as the airplane was the airplane was moving mm-hmm. really bad. <laughs> the guy was really scared, exactly. and and he was uh, he was saying, "Well, tell me about Jesus a- again." Uh-huh. So, um, my father, I' gonna see him in heaven, That's awesome. but you know what? No, because he was a good man. Yeah. No, because he was not going to collapse or get drunk. It's because he accepted Jesus three days before mm-hmm. he died. And that's mm-hmm. the amazing grace of the Lord. The thief on the cross. I mean, minutes before he died, you know, he called to the Lord, and the Lord said, yeah. "You will see me in paradise." Yeah. I think we'll be surprised the people we see in heaven. You know, yeah, that, that and we're going to be surprised people we are not going to see in exactly. Heaven, yeah, you know. Uh, but thank you for this photo. We did we did record an LP uh, twenty oh, years wow. ago. Wow. Beautiful LP. All three of you together? Yeah, three of us. They call Los Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful experience for me playing I with did. my uncle and my dad and me. That was so. And you have that music life. forever now, you know? Uh, forever. It's Ecuadorian music we recorded. Uh, wow. It was a beautiful project. I enjoy playing for both of them, you know? And uh, thank you for bringing this oh, photo. Bring a lot of memories. Speaking of projects, um, let's see. Have a piece of artwork here. Yeah, it seems like your wife is quite the artist. Yeah, and she does the artwork for your albums. Yes, she does. And thank you for bringing this <laughs> photo. You know, this uh, this is so beautiful because uh, we got married 20, 28 years ago. Our, our anniversary was a few days ago. Oh, wow. And you know, when I see my wife in the morning, having breakfast with her, I said in my mind, "Thank you, God." Mm-hmm. I know you love me so much yes. because you gave me this wonderful yeah. woman. She's an amazing woman. Mm-hmm. I am so blessed with with her, you know. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of, kind of girl that she always looks straight the path mm-hmm. and believes in God's promises. Sometimes because I am so emotional. Musicians mm-hmm. are very emotional. Right, yeah. You are very emotional, I am sure. My emotions sometimes, I go to the 25th floor, uh-huh. and in the matter of seconds, I come to the lobby, yeah. mm-hmm. you know? And she always mm-hmm. look to the cross. Sometimes yeah. I go like that, yeah. you know? Um, I th- suffer from depression, and so um, I'm, I'm like you. I hit the basement really yeah. hard, and my yeah. wife is one of the people that, um, as soon as I told her about that, she yeah. was able to find me help and a yeah. counselor and a Christian counselor, and um, she's just someone that I can always lean on in yeah. those moments. You know, amazing. Mm-hmm. She did this. She is a she is an artist. It's a beautiful picture. One of my CDs. Mm-hmm. Uh, she have uh, so many qualities, but the, one of her best qualities is that she give the benefit of the doubt to everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, she believe when the the, the world said all things work together for good for mm-hmm. those who love the Lord. A um, few years ago, our teenager daughter was giving us a big problem, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, rebellious. Mm-hmm. And me as a father, ah, but we have to do this. We have to be rules and rules. And we have to, she always, we need to just trust in the Lord. Mm-hmm. Me, okay, yeah, we need to trust, <laughs> but we need to do this, <laughs> you know? 
And so she's an amazing woman and the, the Lord uh, work in the life of my daughter, so amazing, she's an amazing woman. My relationship was, with her was, n was for a few years were kind of difficult because you know, here is the, the thing Rob, for us as a father, sometimes we think we can control right. the life of our kids, mm -hmm. you know? Because the love of, for my daughter sometimes mm -hmm. is so blind. I said, nobody touch her yeah. because I'm here, mm -hmm. you know? And I learn to step out. Yeah. Do my responsibility, pray for my daughter and step out. I said, Lord, you change her life. Mm -hmm. You do your job. I can't do it. I cannot right. change people's life. No. And and when I did that, when when I understood that my daughter is not my private property, mm -hmm. things turned so amazing because the Lord changed the life of my daughter. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful relationship. She have a little boy, mm -hmm. and we, uh, we love each other. Mm -hmm. But you know, in the beginning, I was very controlling because mm -hmm. my uh, my culture is, uh, is different. You know, I grew up. My father was very moody all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, very, uh, very lot of regulations, lot of rules. Do this and do this and do this. Mm -hmm. So I grew up thinking that that is the way how right. to be a, a father. Mm -hmm. Even in my Christian, uh, you know, uh, life with my kids. But then I became to realize that I cannot change them. Nope. That uh, all I have to do is believe in God's promises, Only and that God take the responsibility. Yeah out and don't make me feel like a right. failure as a father exactly yeah um only god can change the heart i had to learn that lesson the hard way is that you know you you can try to change somebody mm -hmm. but it, it won't last like they can act like they're changing Correct. but it takes god to actually put a new heart in the person absolutely and and totally change their lives um, absolutely. so this artwork uh, did you pick that or did she draw that after she heard the music how did that work? well she been she been an artist for a long time mm -hmm. and she have a guitar collections mm -hmm. and and uh and so you just got to choose from those <laughs> yeah awesome. yeah i love this one because yeah. it's like it have a little wings mm -hmm. you know the guitar that's what I thought. we use it in my website and different and uh, it's a blessing, her art. She's very creative, uh, very artistic. Yeah. Well, I was looking at some of your other albums, and you have a praise album um, with a lot of songs that we do here at Coastline. But I noticed on here your presence in my life, written by Rodrigo Rodriguez. Yeah. So you write songs as well. You know, well. I'm not too much a composer. Mm -hmm. I, I like more to arrange. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have some some work that I did uh, mm -hmm. as a composer, but I I like better uh, to arrange some some yeah. music, established yeah. music, yeah. Uh, uh, like uh, the hymns. I love the hymns. Oh, me too. The hymns are immortal. You know, they yes. are so everlasting. They kind of yeah. connect us to the past generations, the church. Uh, absolutely. The and they are coming back. They never go oh, out of fashion, yeah. the hymns. The, the lyrics and the, 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 it's, it's so amazing. It's yeah. Everything is uh, scriptural, you know. Right. And unfortunately, you know, I have to say that, uh, not like a judge, but some mu contemporary music mm -hmm. are kind of shallow, you know. Agree, and, yeah. and, you know and, and it's sad to me that because... Mm -hmm. When I, when I came to the Lord in Costa Mesa, Calvary Chapel, they used to sing a lot of hymns. Mm -hmm. That's what I got familiar with, as great as thy faithfulness, right. and mm -hmm. I surrender all, and all this, uh, be thou my vision, and all these beautiful hymns. Uh, that's my, my forte mm -hmm. uh, in the guitar when I arrange these hymns, and I play it all over the world. Yes, I love hymns as well. Um, I I think one of my main goals as a worship leader is to see the generations worship together. I think mm -hmm. the older generation needs to see the younger generation um, worship with their music, mm -hmm. but I think the younger generation needs to see the older generation mm -hmm. and worship with them with their music. You know, right. um, I think that's very important, and I think a lot of churches get away from that. Unfortunately. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. I also saw some uh, sheet music that you had done. So whenever you write a music, whenever you write music, do you chart it out every single time? Uh, um, some of the music, mm -hmm. some of the music, the rest is uh, is not in a score because, you know, it's time consuming. And, yes. and, and uh, you know, I want to share with the people my arrangements, but mm -hmm. also, you know, Rob, my passion is, 
is uh, share the, the cross to around the world mm -hmm. because there's so many thousands of people, millions of people, they don't know the, the, the difference between believe in Jesus or not. Mm -hmm. So that's my main, main, my main goal in life. And this is secondary. You see how God changed my life? Mm -hmm. Music used to be everything. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's just something that I used to do mm -hmm. my work as an evangelist. Yeah. As a musicianary. That's what I was going to say. That we, <laughs> we come back to that term that you, yeah. you coined, musicianary. Um, Which one is this? This is the prayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I arranged this. Mm -hmm. It's a, an arrangement. Now you can find all these arrangements in, in my website, www.rodrigorodriguez.net. .net. Now, um, you said you've recorded 16 uh, albums. Are Correct. they all on there? or uh, Most of them are there. Most of them yeah. are there. Most of them, uh, they can download it or, you know, CDs are going out of, uh, out of circulation, right, so, yeah, yeah. but they can still download. I have uh, different options. Mm -hmm. I record uh, uh, one CD with the City of Prague Philharmonic in the Czech Republic. I wanted to ask you what yeah. your process for recording was. Um, with these people? Uh, with, yeah, for, for that recording, what was your process? How did it You happen? know, that was the amazing thing because when I was a little boy, I saw my uncle playing with a symphony orchestra, National Symphony Orchestra uh -huh. in Ecuador. And I was thinking, wow, that, that, that can be so cool to play with a lot of musicians mm -hmm. and you be the lead, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And uh, I have this dream in my heart for many years and the Lord gave it to me. Uh, 12 years ago, uh, we went to the Czech Republic and mm -hmm. with the Prague Philharmonic. Mm -hmm. And I recorded one of the more important orchestras in the world, wow. 52 pieces orchestra. Mm. So, um, you know, we have three rehearsals with these people. That's it. Wow. From zero. Mm. Three rehearsals and, and go and record and in and, and Prague. But I want to share with you something so interesting. When I was recording in, in the recording studio in Prague, my heart was little, little trouble. I, I could understand why I was trouble my heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel something weird stuff, you know, in the ambience. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, uh, I gonna, I'm recording one of the more important orchestra and orchestras in the world. Why is this feeling about it? So talking to the recording engineer, he told me the same room I was recording used to be a Nazi club. Oh, my goodness. In 1942, the Nazis used to hang on, drink, mm -hmm. hang on there, drinking, dancing, you know, celebrating evil. It still is one of the the stages where the, the band used to play uh, for these guys, just drink and dance. Very dark place, you yeah. know. And 12 years ago, uh, 52 pieces orchestra were playing the praises of our king. Wow. So it was an amazing, wonderful uh, honor because uh, we record the more well-known hymns. Mm -hmm. uh, so all these songs, all the CDs, they can find it on my website. I have a lot of choice. I have a CD mm -hmm. of uh, Christmas music and Jewish music and a little more contemporary music. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, you were uh, asking me if there's more recordings coming up. I said no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot of work. I know. It's a lot it's of work. so much money, yeah. It is in, in work and time consuming. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the problem is sometimes I'm not happy, with, never happy with my yeah. recordings. Yeah. Yeah. It, it happened to you, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. When the CD is already done when then everything is done and you listen to, well, i should change this this course should fit more there it yeah. is too late yeah so mm. so that's it for me no more i'm going to record with more people yeah. yes mm -hmm. but uh you know if somebody pro i i would like to produce something mm -hmm. for somebody else but no me my own music i'm done yeah now whenever you do like say work with an orchestra uh do you um, chart out the music for all the instruments? Or? No, no, I have an ar orchestra ar arranger. Very cool. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the guys in California that mm -hmm. the his name is Bob Barrett, mm -hmm. an amazing orchestrator. He did the orchestration for for the Prague Philharmonic. Very cool. It's so powerful. Fifty-two oh, yeah. pieces orchestra, you know, and yes. it's just amazing. One of my favorite hymns in this CD is "Be Thou My Vision." Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful and powerful yeah. to hear, uh, majestic, you know. Yeah, we used to do that song here. It was a few years back, but we got to bring it back. You're, yeah. you're right; it has such a good message. Yeah. But let's see. Um, you so did a great job. Record an album. 
Well, no, I don't <laughs> think so. Is is more? I, I don't know. You know, um, uh, well, I I, I leave a uh, open open mm. door because you know I know a lot of repertoire, and I am always arranging different hymns. Yeah. I love hymns. Oh yeah. And uh, I it's so many hymns, mm. and probably if I do another one, I'm gonna be a, another hymn yeah. uh, uh, CD. You did a great job collecting all this stuff, oh, Rob. Thank you. Wow, I, amazing. I'm an introvert, so I like to research before I do things. <laughs> Good for you. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> well, thank you. Now, the one thing I've noticed about whenever you play, um, and that's the classical style. And I remember when I was recording um, an album, I wanted to have one that had that classical style, but it had been um, decades since I had just done anything instrumental. And so I went to record it, and I was thinking, this it doesn't have the right feel there's something wrong and the all of a sudden i had to go back and listen to some of my old music back when i was 16 years old wow and i realized what it was was i was trying to play to a metronome yeah. but when you're doing classical music you need the freedom to move the tempo um yeah. and that's what i noticed about your music is you do yeah. that in all your songs and it has yeah. this beautiful flow yeah um, yeah well, music is the color of the music, you know. Uh, uh, music is like life. Mm -hmm. If life will be like a, right. a line like that, it will be boring. Right. Mm -hmm. Life go up and down, mm -hmm. up and down. That's music. It's colors, yeah. deep colors. This is your emotions come. You know, is when I when I play the guitar, is you can hear the joy, you can hear the gratefulness, but you can. You can hear the anxiety. You can hear the the whole human Suspense. emotions mm -hmm. that go combined. Otherwise, will be just one line, and that will be absolutely boring. Right. Yeah. You know, and I believe that that music should be like that, yeah. with different colors and emotions. Yeah, and I think people underestimate the power of silence in a song. You know, um, a lot of people say say things about you know how beautifully I play the piano, and I'm like, it's not me. You know, if you just hit a note on a piano and let it ring out, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And it's not so much about always knowing what to play, but what not to play. Correct. And when to kind of get out of the way, like we've been talking about. Exactly. Know? Exactly. It's always a way to, uh, to uh, you know. It's like it's speaking, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, we talk too much. Sometimes it's, it's good to be just quiet, yeah. you know, and just listening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't happen too often in me because I talk too much. But <laughs> well, uh, you're helping me out a lot. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> but yeah, the but that that goes also to the the power that you command on stage because to have a room full of hundreds and thousands of people, yeah, and to be able to hear that silence whenever you come to that calm point in the song yeah. just talks about how you're capturing not only their thoughts but their hearts and yeah. God is able to minister through that absolutely you know that that is the the the, the worship that is mm -hmm. when when you get so concentrated in worshiping the Lord when 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 your goal is bring the people mm -hmm. to worship with you to the Lord and that is that is the that is my goal, for, and I ask the Lord to give me this blessing to become a, a worshiper, mm -hmm. not a performer. Right. You know, and a lot of people, uh, sometimes people after a, a service come and they say that your music touch my heart, and and Rob, I don't is I don't take it personally. You right. know, you I said yeah. thank you, Lord. Is 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 the mu the power of music. Uh, through through me, I am the guy who played the guitar. But it's not my playing; mm -hmm. it's the intention. Is the is the Lord who used the music mm -hmm. for His glory and His purpose? Yeah. Like He was using it with David. You remember when Saul. David used to play with the, the, the harp of Saul? And and you know, uh, I call the the church is a hospital. People seek come to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, everyone should come to the church because everyone in the world we are sick. Mm -hmm. So there's a hospital, and when you, when people come to the hospital, to the hospital, before the word of the Lord, we prepare the the worship, we prepare the hearts of the people. You know, I see worship like uh, this beautiful carpet, red carpet, with people is walking to the listen in the world. So our responsibility mm -hmm. is prepare the heart of the people to listen the word of God. Mm -hmm. 
And it's not only through your music, you also share with your stories. I was I saw a video because there was a song that really um, inspired me to become a musician. It's called Via Dorosa. Mm. And I saw a video of you playing that live. But before yeah. you did that, you yeah. set it up and you put people's minds on that the story of the cross yeah. And, yeah. and that road that led to the cross. Correct. You know, when, when I play... Uh, I call concert in, for, in in the world people uh, you call concert, but in 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 the church you 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 say a night of worship. Mm-hmm. When I play a night of worship, uh, I explain the song. Mm-hmm. What uh, what is the reason why I was uh, driven mm-hmm. to arrange that song? What effect in my life have that song? Mm-hmm how affect me that song when I play. And, I, and you know, Rob, it, the, the world is the same. Our problems are the same of the people across the street. Mm-hmm. The kids, the problems, everything is the same. So people get very, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, famili- familiar with, with, the, with, the, with, with my share because they, in their own lives, probably they are having the same effects of the problem of this yeah. falling world. So explain a little the, the song is a good idea because that connect you with the people mm-hmm. in a time. Yeah, and and man, like your your story that you shared with your uncle and with your father, and um, I know that's a lot of people's story, and so yes. I know that um, through your story, like yeah. they're seeing healing because they're seeing you worship through those yeah, times. Absolutely, and, and you know, the, it, I'm talking to so many musicians there; they are out there and hopefully listening this program you know uh, music is a can be a bl- is, is a blessing but also can be a curse mm-hmm. because what God created for a for a beautiful purpose the enemy can put it in the, for, like a curse mm-hmm. in my case music used to be a curse when I when I uh, in my young years when I didn't know the Lord mm-hmm. because I was always competing with people mm-hmm. competing who is the best, who play faster, who play hard, who play, who bring more people, who record more CDs, and all these things, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's the identity, but now my identity is in Christ. Mm -hmm. I know that God loves me the way how I am. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing in this world that he is going to uh, let me, allow him to love me more or love me less. Mm -hmm. He loves his unfailable, his amazing love. And I am a free man because and I play free the guitar now. And that's why I, my identity was totally changed. I, nev- I, don't, I don't play for the people anymore. I'm not expecting the people bearing my shoulders, n- right. not anymore. And there's a big, big uh, responsibility mm-hmm. that you have to keep up. You yeah. to keep every day practicing to impress the people. Mm-hmm. Now I just play my guitar free if I made a mistake too bad right. if people don't like my technique too bad you know somebody music else is so subjective <laughs> like, you know. it is subjective you know it's very subjective mm-hmm. some people wouldn't like it. some people they are not going to like it right. uh, I remember some some uh, and uh, I was playing in some church and one guy came and said hey you why you play so many notes <laughs> I said, I, I don't understand what you say. I said, you should play something like uh, the melody line he was oh, talking, you right, know. Yeah. He he was telling me why I play so many notes in one song because I play the harmony and the melody mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I play notes in, in, in the middle. Keep if you see tempo, in the score, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, and I said, I, I was not able to answer that question mm-hmm. because it's some kind of question that I, you don't have an answer. Why I play so many notes, you yeah. know. So some people will like, mm-hmm. some people will think it's boring, mm-hmm. but you know what? It, 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 that, it doesn't may affect me anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. In the past, I probably that going to affect me to the point that it's going to depress me forever yeah. to know that somebody don't like my playing. Right. You understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But not anymore. So that's because my identity mm-hmm. is in, in I, am a, I am a child of God and he loves me. And he he owns my heart. Mm-hmm. He owns my time. He owns my mind and, and my desire to worship him. And that make total difference in my in my playing. When you notice when I play, 
I I just get relaxed and I grab my guitar and and trying to do the best I can. Very fluid, very colorful is mm-hmm. to express my emotions through a song to the Lord with gratefulness and tell it, thank you, Lord, because you love me. Mm-hmm. Who am I for you to love me? Mm-hmm. I, I'm not an special person. Why you love me so much? And this is an answer I never going to have, Rob. Why God love me? It's, it's a mystery. Mm-hmm. God is because it's his, his character is love for me. Mm-hmm. So that uh, that really changed my heart to know that somebody loves me no matter what. Yeah. And now your music is about a message. You know, it's less about you and more about the message you're trying to convey. Correct. And that's why whenever um, I talk to people about worship, they may be like, well, why don't you do this this song or why don't you do this song? Yeah. And because that doesn't necessarily have the message for the church that yeah. we need, you know. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm, I'm really big on theology in songs because... Absolutely, and I, congr- I want to congratulate you for that oh. because it's not about us, right. you know. It's not a, it's not a concert. Mm-hmm. When people want to uh, hear a concert, they go to the performance center, right. mm-hmm. a concert hall. But mm-hmm. The church is all about the Lord. Exactly. It has to be all about Him, uh, honoring His majesty and His goodness. And that's we transmitting music, you know. There's some music out there that is good music, and it's, uh, but you know, it's, it doesn't mean nothing to honor the greatness of the Lord, you know. And I not even touch that song myself. I don't want to arrange it. I don't want to compromise. Mm-hmm. So that's why I love hymns because mm-hmm. hymns always talk about the Lord. And they they s- are, they've they stood are, the test of time. And they take it from the Psalms or, or, yeah. or from Proverbs and they make a beautiful arrangement and base to, uh, you know, great thy faithfulness, you know, is uh, coming from uh, from the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah uh, when, when the Babylonians were taking the people captivity to Babylonia. Mm-hmm. And, and and that's great, that faithfulness. Uh, and uh, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, you know, for all the plans I have for you. Mm-hmm. So all this music is meaningful because it gives us the hope mm-hmm. in God's promises. And to think that we're singing the same thoughts and the same expressions as they were thousands of years ago mm-hmm. to the same God, you know. Yeah, nothing changed what a gift we have like to be able to to not just have music but to have music that has an eternal difference with it you know right um wow so some people are going to watch this and maybe they've never heard your music um Mm -hmm. so what would you want them to know before they listen um before they they look up your music and listen what would you want them to to know about your music uh, that my music have a different feeling, different sense, uh, different uh, different goals. Mm-hmm. That I am using the music now to honor the King of the Universe, and that. Uh, but you know, Rob, here's the thing. Again, uh, people can use their own gifts and in, mm-hmm. in, in God's kingdom. Mm-hmm. Don't have to be a musician. But I'm talking direct to the musicians because I am, and you are one of them. So I encourage them to review their their dreams. Mm-hmm. My dreams used to be fame and glory, mm-hmm. and riches, and richness, mm-hmm. because I thought that that was the the only way to be happy. Yeah. But you see, happy and joy are two different things. Mm-hmm. Happiness is a is a man's perspective. Right. A man's uh, mood, <laughs> dream, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and uh, people can be happy momentarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if uh, people win the lotto, they're going to be so happy. Mm-hmm. People get a raise in their job, more happy. Mm-hmm. And get a master's degree, happy. But you know, more money you make, more money you will expend. Mm-hmm. When we die, we are not going to take nothing. Mm-hmm. But the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord that you cannot buy in Nostrum or Target. That is like a, a umbilical cord between your heart and God's heart. That's the joy. That is something that that, that comes from the Lord mm-hmm. and allow you to go in the difficult times of your life with money or without it. You know, joy is totally different. And unfortunately, the world is looking for happiness. Mm-hmm. They don't understand or they don't know what is joy. 
And sadly, a lot of churches are preaching that, you know, that the cheap happiness that you can get today, but it's gone tomorrow. Keep happy, mm -hmm. live your day today, your, your best of today. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, uh, we don't understand that Jesus said in this world, you will have tribulations. Right. Tribulations in every single mm -hmm. sense, you know. Sometimes we lose, we, we lost some, somebody in our family. Mm -hmm. That's a tribulation. Mm -hmm. We lose our, our jobs. We lose our, our the love and respect for people, and this everything is a tribulation. But Jesus said, "I will become the world." Mm -hmm. So uh, I focus in that. And He promises He'll never leave us through those times. Yeah. And that is that is a, an amazing promise, mm -hmm. you know. And we know that He's a promise keeper. Mm -hmm. So I will tell to the young musicians just to review their real goals. Uh, you know, one of the reasons why we did this film is because I was in the Philippines uh, two years ago and I was invited to a secular classical guitar festival. It was a challenge for me mm -hmm. because, uh, uh, you know, guitar players from uh, different countries in the world, we, uh, uh, one Russian guy, amazing player, from Spain, from Brazil, and I came from United States to the to the Philippines and I had to go to my old repertoire secular repertoire mm -hmm. so I was playing some tangos piazzola tangos and uh, by the end of the concert that I did I play amazing grace and I had the opportunity to share my spiritual background mm -hmm. and then I finished with Via Dolorosa the song we are mm -hmm. talking about and 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 I play a concert in St. Thomas University there for 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 the students. St. Thomas University is the oldest university in Southeast Asia. So I saw these young people, my face in them, because the Philippines is one of the poorest countries in the world. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people. They they are so generous. They are so beautiful. They give you something they don't have it. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing. So I saw my face in these young kids. They are studying every day, night and day, hours and hours. One go. Be rich and famous, be happy. Mm -hmm. So I have an opportunity to speak to them and say, if you guys are putting your life, your expectation and your career, you're going to be so disappointed. Mm -hmm. Because even if you make it, which is hard, mm -hmm. you're going to be disappointed because... We have a space in our lives that nobody can fill it up. Mm -hmm. No money, no fame. That space is a special for a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Nothing can fill it up that. So that's what I did this film, encouraging my story to them that I was looking for this kind of fancy life of my life, all to fill it up, all the, the emptiness. And I fill it up something of the emptiness. Mm -hmm. But the big one, I never could. Yeah. Why? Because only God can fill it out the empty as part of your life. So I encourage them to look for the cross, for the answers of their lives. And we receive so many emails from all over the world about this this uh, this film that, that somebody produced. Yeah, and you beautiful. know, I I have to tell you this honestly. When when they came and 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 uh, asked me to do this film. I told my wife, hey, I don't want to do this. I'm nobody special. I'm, I, I don't want to do the, the it's, it's not important. But then my beautiful wife said, look, this is going to be something that you can inspire, the real story, mm -hmm. how God transformed your life, mm -hmm. how God put, changed you the, uh, of places, you know. Used to, my identity used to be here, mm -hmm. and now it's a different. My goal used to be uh, different now. Mm -hmm. my, my, the, the, the way how I act in my life. So that's why I, I, I said, okay, that, that be, will be a great idea. We show it in Ecuador, in my own country, one of the TV channels, and they said that at least, uh, around one million people saw the, wow. saw the video all over the country, Ecuador. I don't know what is the, the impact of these people. That's, I don't know. Just God know. But God can use anything for his glory. Mm -hmm. So I'm very humbled that somebody did this this yeah. short film for me. 
Yeah, well, thank you for doing that because, like you said, like in their mind and what the world keeps telling them is if they're good enough, you know, yeah. if they're the good enough musician, you know, they'll get all this fame, they'll get all this money, and so they pursue that. Mm -hmm. But even if they do, you have put a seed in their heart yeah, to let them know that, you know what, I've been there and it did not make me happy, exactly. but I found something that did, you know. Exactly, in the Jesus process. Christ. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just want to thank you, um, not just for taking your time with me right now, mm -hmm. but um, just the uh, the spirit that you have, um, and that whenever you come to our church, you're with our worship team, and you take the time to get to know them, and, and they're my heart, you know, God's given them as my ministry, mm -hmm. and so whenever I see someone like you pour into them, and mm -hmm. talk to them, and care for them, like, yeah. um, it just makes me very happy, and it, it shows me that that um, we are family in Christ. Yeah. And, you know, I, I want to thank you for having me. You know, this church is, uh, I know Pastor John for many years. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, when I go and I see worship team, sometimes, sometimes I see attitude in the people, you know. And, and, and I want to communicate to them that uh, it's an honor to pray for the Lord. It is. It's, it's something that for me is a dream come true, you know, it's, it's something that I don't deserve it. So, and, and I want to, uh, uh, you know, talk to them and tell them my story and make them aware or remind them the church is, is the more amazing thing that can happen mm -hmm. to us. It's not even a performing arts center, right. you know, that's why uh, I, when I see young people, I, I, my heart is full of joy because when I was young in that age, I didn't know better. Mm -hmm. When I was a little boy, nobody prayed for me. They didn't know better. Mm -hmm. We never have a Bible in my home. I don't remember nobody praying for me. So at this age, when I am, and I see young people in the church playing their instrument, I celebrate and I say, man, amazing. You're doing a wonderful job. You're praying for the God of the universe. Mm -hmm. That is no words. Yeah. So... Thank you for uh, for your words, your kind words, and raptures. I pray that the Lord continue using your beautiful heart and spirit and your talent, the talent that He gave you in His kingdom. We are chosen by Him, mm -hmm. you know, and that's an honor to call ourselves part of the Levite tribe, you know. Exactly. So is uh, so I we are brothers. That. That. I love that, and we get to spend eternity worshiping together. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting me. And it is my honor to be here well, today. You. God bless you. I love you guys. God bless to everyone of you.